Hey guys, today we're talking about just the basics of check valves uh, in a system. AirLogic makes inline check valves for miniature applications, uh, but check valves are used all over the place. They're one of the most basic valves in any hydraulic or uh, pneumatic system. Um, just from a really simplistic standpoint, they give you flow in one direction and no flow in the other direction. So um, really basic from a functionality standpoint, um, but when it comes down to it, there's a whole host of different types of check valves out there um, because when you get into the, the finer details of what makes a check valve right for an application, um, there's just a lot of different aspects that go into it. And so a lot of different designs come out of that uh, to fit the different needs. So we're going to talk about some of the things you might want to think about uh, when you're specifying a check valve for your application. One of the first things you want to think about when you're going to specify a check valve for your application is the cracking pressure. Um, the cracking pressure is this uh, term we use to say, when does a check valve open? So again, from a basic standpoint, in the flow direction, you're going to get a flow through the check valve, but the cracking pressure is going to determine exactly when that starts. So you might have a very low cracking pressure check valve that's almost essentially a zero. Um, right at the zero point, you're going to get flow or you might have a cracking pressure that's much higher, you know, five or 10 or 20 PSI uh, cracking pressure check valve. That means even in the flow direction, as you start applying pressure, you're not gonna get any flow in that direction until you exceed the cracking pressure. So this is important for your application because um, it depends where your operating pressures are uh, and when exactly you want that flow to occur. So in a pressure relieving application, you'll have your normal operating pressure that your circuit is, is running at, and then the, you use a check valve that's above that somewhere so that if something goes wrong in the system, uh, the check valve is going to release excess pressure. It's a really economical way to, um, to do pressure relieving versus using like a back pressure regulator or a, a, a more expensive relief valve. Um, a check valve is, is, is usually a lot cheaper um, and so it's good for high volume applications where you're going to be using a lot of these things and you want a safety device in the circuit that's going to um, protect your device from any um, excess pressure. The other thing you want to consider when you're specifying a check valve is your flow rate in both directions. The flow rate in the forward direction is going to tell you how much flow you're going to get um, in the normal operating circumstances when you're just trying to flow through the check valve. Um, also, you want to consider your reverse flow. So you might say, well, uh, I thought the check valve didn't give you any reverse flow, right? But in practical terms, um, all check valves are, are going to make some trade off between how well they seal and how much back, back pressure they can handle. And so you'll, you'll get some amount of back flow or people will call that like a leak rate um, in the backwards direction. And so you want to consider um, the type of check valve and its specified leak rate or reverse flow for your application as well. So then lastly, there's a couple other things you want to consider. Things like uh, the materials that are used in, in the check valve. You want to make sure those are compliant um, for your application. Whether you are running um, a certain type of fluid through there or a certain type of gas, you want to make sure that those materials are compliant um, to the ones in the check valve. And then also your connection type. Um, what size tubing you're using um, and um, what type of connections you're going to have uh, for the check valve. So those are the basics of what to think about when you're specifying a check valve. Um, we're going to have some more videos getting into more in-depth topics on this. So come check us out either on LinkedIn or at air-logic.com. Thanks.